Hello everyone, today we will be covering how to use face tools in Formit. First I'll demonstrate the reverse face tool which requires some explanation. Formit is a solid modeling tool so every face that is drawn has a front and a back. For a form to be a solid, all front faces need to be facing out. This is important because Formit advanced geometry tools only work properly if the models are solid. It's also necessary when converting Formit data to things like Insight Energy Analysis, Revit, and 3D printing apps. To make sure your model is made up of solids, we will use a visual style called Display Back Faces, which will highlight any reversed faces. If I open my Visual Styles palette and select the Diagnostics icon and check on the Identify Back Faces selection, the reverse faces will show in red, but currently I have only placed primitive shapes, so all faces are correctly aligned. But if I select a face, right-click to the context menu, and select the icon for reverse face, suddenly it changes color, showing you that it is, in fact, a back face. To quickly toggle back faces on and off, you can type DB. As solids are being modeled from edges and faces, Formit will give them a front and a back. So it's important from time to time to display the back faces if you run into a solid modeling error. Now let me show you side by side how a back face can corrupt the cut geometry tool. As you can see, when we move the domes away from the cube, only one worked properly. Now we will choose a face to offset by using the offset face tool in the context menu or by typing OF. Once in the tool, you will see a preview blue rectangle indicating an offset inside or outside of your face. If we wanted to turn this cube into a room, we could choose the top face, offset inside 6 inches, and then drag the face to subtract the interior. Since you can do this on any face, if we now wanted a window centered on a wall, we could select the face, offset the line, and then subtract that face to create a window. To use the Tilt Face tool, you first select the face you want to tilt and right-click for the context menu, select the Tilt Face icon, also accessed by typing TF. You will see a dash blue line with three grips, indicating that this is the edge that will act as the center pivot, and the blue arrows indicate the edge that will move, tilting the face. If you want a different pivot edge, just select the center grip and move the line to a different edge in the same plane. Notice how the arrows automatically move to the opposite edge from your center pivot line. Now you can type in a degree angle you want, or you can grab the arrows and move your edge forward and back. Finally, we will discuss the Align Camera with Face tool. Let's rotate the room we just made and select a face that is now off-axis. Right-click to the context menu and select the Align Camera with Face tool or type AF. Once the view adjusts to align, if we turn our view to orthographic in the floating navigation toolbar, then we will have made a true elevation of this room. This tool will align with any flat model face. And that's it for Format Face Tools. Be sure to check out more videos on the Format YouTube channel.